What's up everyone? My name is Bukaya and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm continuing my coverage of the Justice League movie gear sets available in Injustice 2. Now, yesterday... Well, if you saw yesterday's video, you saw that we got the gear for the Flash. We completed all the towers, completed each objective. We have the complete Justice League movie gear set for the Flash. Yesterday, they also released the tower for Cyborg, which kind of caught me off guard. I thought they were going to be like one every other like session because you can see this one still has 91 hours so i thought okay when that one expires we'll get the next one and so on and so on nope looks like they are releasing them every day because yesterday we got cyborg and today we got wonder woman so i'm gonna cover both of these today in one video you can see cyborg we just need the final tower which is brainiac am i ready for it we're gonna find out we're gonna find out, but that's the only one we need, and we will have the complete gear set for Cyborg, which a lot of people are not Cyborg. too happy about, and I'll explain why once we get this piece. We're just bugs to them, aren't we? Insects and humans are much the same. Bugs can't stomp me. I will. Begin. There you go. Alright, so come on. No messing around. We oh, gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, lord. I did go ahead and design a gear set for Cyborg that I'm hoping will kind of help with this battle. I'm not sure if it's gonna or not. I took down the level 20 boss for the Flash at level 15. Cyborg is at 14 right now, but of course I'm way more familiar with the Flash than I am Cyborg, so I might still be in trouble if I'm being honest. Oof. So little accomplished. There we go. Keep doing that. If I'm quiet, I'm just focused. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try and get him in one take, but I don't know, he's, he's, oh, he got me. Oh God, that's what I was trying to do to you. Dang it, Brainiac, here we go. Oh no, there we go. Throw that at him, oh no. There we go, just keep doing that. Oh God, I'm gonna have to use my clash. I'm not gonna get to. No, dang it. Wins. I'm just gonna jump right in and try that again. Let's see. I think I could get him. I think it's doable. There we go. Throw that at him. I should have let him stand up completely first, but that's alright. There we go. There we go. Now do that. There we go. We're off to a good start this round. We're off to a great start this round. Throw that at him. Oh, I missed. Dang! Where you at, Brainiac? Come on! There we go. Okay, now this is more like it. Now I can. T now I'm taking it to him. That first round was just a warm up. Come on, that's just a warm up. That's all that was. Okay, no, 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 no. There we go. Throw that at him. Nope, get out of the way. I don't want him sending you through the wall. I don't want him sending you. There we go. There we go. Bash him. Let's see if we can finish with the super. Let's see. Did I get him in time? No, he blocked it. Oh, yeah. Just shoot him. Shoot him. Guns. Guns for days. Guns for days. Do that. Do that. Do that. Well, there we go. Second try. Not bad. Not bad. That first round, I was like, oh no, this is going to be tough. But hey, we came back and got him. And we got some new cyborg gear. We got the Fortified Stones Nth Metal CPU. I'll take it. 
All right, so there you go. Dismantled completion rewards. We got three diamond mother boxes, which is awesome. We also completed the objectives, which gets us two platinum mother boxes, 50,000 credits, and the fortified Justice League 1960 Disruptor Cannon. Level 20, of course, so I cannot equip it. But we can, oh, and I got a cyborg shader. I didn't know there was a shader in the bundle. Look at that. Was there a shader in Flash? There was not. No. All right, so let's go see what we got for Cyborg. Now, a lot of people are upset about this. I kind of want to see that shader first. Let's see. Let's see what, man and machine. Ooh, okay. Not sure if I like it. Not sure if I like it. Let's see how it looks on the loadout that I got built. Okay, it looks all right. It looks okay. He looked kind of like a jack-o'-lantern. But here we go. I'm going to build the gear set. Of course, I can't complete it because I'm not level 20 like I was with the Flash. But that's all right. We can still take a look. Now, a lot of people are upset because the gear pieces that it gave you for Flash are the grid. It's the epic gear, the grid set. You can see there's the face there. We got the chest. Now, a lot of people are saying that this gear set was already in the game and is not necessarily linked to the movie. The only thing that really relates to the movie is the blaster, which you saw the the level 20 fortified Justice League 1960 disruptor cannon. And there it is. It looks cool. I like it. I wish I could equip it, but I can't because I'm not level 20. But let's see the full gear set. This is everything you get from the Cyborg Multiverse event. You get the Grid Epic Gear Set, and you get the Fortified Justice League 1960 Disruptor Cannon, which has some pretty good augments, too. A Sonic Disruptor charge for one second or more can now trigger an Arena Transition, which is great. That's the little pushback move that gives, like, a little Sonic Wave, um, in case you didn't know. The 232 Strength, 302 Defense, that is an amazing gear piece i love it plus increases the amount of credits and guild credits earned by 1.6 percent that is great that's a great piece i wish i could equip it but i can't but yeah that's they're saying that's really the only piece that comes from the justice league movie and the grid gear set is actually just a gear set that is already there which of course comes with its own augments as well or not augments but um bonuses for equipping it. If you have two out of the four pieces, you gain an additional 100 defense. If you equip all four, you get the bombs away kind of ability, which is if you hit a 10 hit or higher combo, there's a 10% chance that a bomb will be released that explodes after a short delay, which is pretty cool if you ask me. I think that's pretty cool. But that is the gear set you get for the Flash. Like I said, I really like this blaster, so I'm gonna, I'm actually kind of looking forward to getting to level 20 with Cyborg because that is a kick-ass piece of gear. All right, now moving on to the Wonder Woman multiverse. There's a quick little thing about the Wonder Woman multiverse. The gear set for the Justice League movie gear is actually the same as that f that was released for the Wonder Woman movie multiverse event so if you a bit of there's a bit of good news if you missed the multiverse event the first time now you have a second chance to get the gear from the wonder woman movie and of course it makes sense she's got the same costume in the wonder woman movie that she does in the justice league movie so that makes sense so if you missed it when the wonder woman movie event was coming out now's your chance to get it again or if you're like me and you already have the entire set Now's your chance to get it at a higher level, because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, I was at a pretty low level with Wonder Woman when I got mine. But of course, with the objectives this time, I'm gonna go for it again because, like I said, I want it in a higher level. But there's also a shader packaged in, like there was with Cyborg. I did notice this earlier. I didn't notice it for Cyborg, but I noticed it here. You get the common Wonder Woman shader, Sappho's Sapphire alternate, and I believe. If I'm not mistaken, the Sappho's Sapphire is actually one of the shaders that they added to Wonder Woman in one of the more recent updates. So let's take a look here. Yep, Sappho's Sapphire. So that would be the shader that you get for Wonder Woman, which I think is pretty cool. I like it. I kind of like the black and white sort of thing. I like this one too, but I kind of like that it's a black and white one. 
But as you can see, I already have the gear from the Wonder Woman movie. It gives you the tiara of Divine Tragedy, Diana's theatrical chest plate, bracers of rise in action, smash hit boots, and the blockbuster whatever word that is. So of course, the bonuses as well for equipping multiple pieces of the gear set. You could gain additional strength, additional defense, um, her meter burn move can now trigger an arena transition. So of course it is beneficial to have the entire gear set. I kind of want to see what this is going to look like with that shader. I like it. I like it. So yeah, I'm not going to go through... I'm probably not going to do a video going through the Wonder Woman multiverse event just because we already have the gear right here. I don't need to go through an event to show it off. But it's already right here. So instead, let's just go to war, y'all. Let's just go to war. Let's go to war, y'all. Wonder Woman versus Cyborg with the epic gear set that you get for the Justice League multiverse events for the two of them, respectively. So let's do it. Let's see how you fight, Victor. I don't think you can handle me. Bring it on. Begin. Every time Cyborg talks, man, I just, I want to watch The Walking Dead. Because if you watch The Walking Dead, uh, the actor that plays King Ezekiel actually does the voice for Cyborg in Injustice 2. So every time I hear him talk, I'm like, I want to, I need to watch The Walking Dead now. Like, I get that's it. Which I still haven't started this current season. I'm a little behind, I know, so. But here we are. Wonder Woman movie gear versus Cyborg quote unquote movie gear because a lot of people are saying that's not as that's not as gear I'm not gonna argue I'm not gonna argue I'm just saying but that cannon man I want that cannon I'm gonna have to get to level I'm gonna have to get to level 20 quick with cyborg because I just want to use that cannon dang Wonder Woman can I forgot how good Wonder Woman was like I, I know her pretty well and I forgot about that so let's see if I could get her. There we go. Ooh, he started running too. I go. Oh! I thought I had him. I'm not going to lie. Now for the big guns. Less talking or fighting. There you go. That's the spirit. I need to I need to learn from Wonder Woman. Less talking more fighting. How about I jump right through his rockets? Come on. Oh, do the, do the thing. There we go. Do the other thing. There we go. Do that. Do that. So this is the move that can trigger arena transitions. That right there that I just won. But there are no arena transitions in this stage. Wonder Woman wins. But there you have it. Another short little quick episode regarding the Justice League movie gear. Of course, we got the cyborg gear and the wonder woman gear i'm gonna go and get it at a higher level and get the shader but i was like i could show it off right now because i already got it so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna bundle everything into one little bonus video and then of course when aquaman batman and all the other folks show up i'll cover those ones as well because i guarantee those ones i do not have at least i should not but anyway thank you for joining me once again my name is bukaya if you enjoyed today's video hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos coming in the future. Thank you once again for being here. My name is Bukaya. Bring your Justice League movie tickets next time, and you can be player two.